What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and I'm here with another pretty big unboxing, hopefully by, as you can tell by uh, these packages. So I went ahead and kind of uh, opened up a little bit just so that I, it would take a little bit longer because usually I spend a lot of time unboxing stuff. So this is all stuff I'll trade. You guys have been asking me in the comments on my other big unboxings, like, oh, you spend a lot of money on this, Alec. No, I really don't. I do a lot of trading, and so I get new guns so I can do reviews and just play around with a lot of different guns because I love the different airsoft guns and different types of airsoft guns. And then I got a sweet e-bike mystery unboxing in this middle one that is incredible that, I, uh, that I'm, I'm hoping. It was the $130 unboxing, and then I bought myself another cool rifle because I really wanted another rifle, so I ended up buying myself another really, really cool rifle that you guys will see hopefully very soon. So first one here is the big giant box is my DMR. This is a gun that I got. I want I specifically wanted a DMR so I traded actually traded James for this. Man, that's cool. So yeah, it has a GMP suppressor up here. I believe it has a tight bore barrel and then this is the GMP Mods key mod system. It's kind of like the Crytek LVOA rail system. Cough cough might have got another one of those. Oh shoot, just gave away the unboxing, but yes. Maybe. Um, it's got a, a, the, whoever previously had it had painted the G&G Combat Machine body green, so it kind of looks a little funky, as you can probably tell by that. It's got a bronze tan rail system up here, and then it has an OD green plastic body, and even the tan grip was painted OD green. At least it's wearing a little bit, so that's kind of cool. And then the stock is also OD green, and then it has some sort of kind of weird, well, I have some magazines over here. It has a little bit of a weird like uh, rail drilled into the stock, but whatever, I mean, it looks kind of cool. And then internally, this gun has a lot of stuff in it, so I'm excited to be able to use this. I think I'm actually gonna use this possibly Saturday. I'm going to play uh, one of my local fields, so I'm gonna go and I'm hopefully gonna use this. Selector switch feels nice. Um, fits my GMP mags really well, which is the main, I love these GMP high RPS mid caps. They work very, very well for every gun that I've used. I mean, I do use a lot of GMP guns though. But next. Oh, this is what I'm excited for. This thing is sick. So I'm super excited for this because this is the, this one of these is a mystery box and one of these is actually a gun I bought for myself. At the time, it's funny because I have like three or four really good at working AEGs now, but at the time I ordered this, I was like, man, I'm just sick of having guns break and just having guns that don't work. So I went ahead and got this, this is the top. Oh my goodness. So the other one's the mystery box, and it's an HK box. What was that? What was HK in there? I don't think that was anything. It's shorter. It's not an M4. But they have. They didn't. It's definitely not 417. There's the mags. Okay, we'll open. I'll open the, the other like extra stuff that I got for. So this I bought for myself. This is a pro one. I bought this for my JP Custom M4 package. Is kind of torn. Looks like everything's still in there though, but Pro and Hop Up, honestly the best hop up system I've ever used. I had it in my uh, Polar Star. It has like a really nice screw that just really sets it well and puts it against the, the gearbox or the fusion engine. And this is a very, very nice hop up. I love this thing. It has done miracles for me and my Polar Star. It just really shot well, but I, I have no clue. The box is beat to trash. Oh, this unboxing was more of an open box. Oh my goodness, it's the, dude, look at this. Okay, so uh, e-bike flag patch, first of all, just the normal flag patch. This was the hex patch. This is actually kind of cool. This is like their hex, hex patch that came with something. I can't believe... I didn't, I, is this a the pro line or the competition? Uh, 7, 115 tested. Wow, so this is pretty old. This is like a year old. So this is why this is a open box. Let's go ahead and move that out of the way. Yeah, the two patches. I think there was a speed loader or two. Oh, yeah, there's a speed loader. But yeah, 7115 HK MP5 A5 Black. I don't know if this is the Pro Line or if this is the like the competition cheaper version, but it feels, that feels really nice. Let's put the mag in, let's see. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty, wow, that's tight. High cap, that feels, that actually feels really sweet. I have not had any luck in the past. You guys have seen my mystery boxes. If you've been around for a, a while, I got one off Airsoft GI. It was like a cheap MP5, the cheapest one. The last one I just got was a Echo One Scar L, which I actually traded for one of the guns that's in this bottom box. And this one I think is the higher level VFC MP5. So that means this is like a $300 gun. Licensed by Heckler and Coke. 
Wow, that's that's sick. That's actually a sick gun. I'd really like the MP5 too. I have a system, a TW5, um, which is probably honestly way nicer because it's a system. Huh? But this is this is really really nice. Um, dang, that is that is a sweet gun. Oh, shout out to my uh, dude, Airsoft Tech 23, for helping me fo learn how to focus. To uh, one of the actual few guys that I've been able to build a friendship with on YouTube. Uh, if you're another bigger airsoft guy and like want to have a friend like YouTube or friendship or something, I'll link his channel in the description. But like if you're another guy that has it, that'd be really cool because that's what like I just want to get to know more YouTube airsofters. Maybe we could like even play or maybe him and I'll be able to get together at some point to like go. And he has a really cool indoor field near him. Um, but that's just a cool idea. So this is the LVOA that I purchased for myself. This came with the it was the six millimeter pro shop like the ten magazine deal. So these are I don't know what color these are. So it looks like the gray, which is a tidbit as to what I got with. Oh, here's the uh, six millimeter pro shop. I think this is just like my KWA speed loader. It's like a $20 part, I think. But that's pretty nice. I mean, that came with, came with the mystery box, so just adding extra little things there. But that MP5 is actually really dope. Like that's the best mystery box I have ever got in my life. Oh my goodness. This is, so this is the Crytek box. I just heard a lot of really good things about Crytek. I never have actually bought one. I don't even know if I shot one, honestly. But I just heard a lot of really good things. Look at that. That's actually kind of cool. That's like a, on the box they have like a manual thing up top. It says Crytek Owner's Manual War Sport. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. So it comes really, really nice. Like, look at all that stuff that's in there. There's like really well padded and foam. This is the Crytac. It even comes in. It's a high cap. It's got a rail for key mod, back sight. Oh, it comes with a. That's nice. I wasn't sure if it would come with a um, uh, flash hider that was black because I know it comes. I have to ship with the orange. That's a good little add. Like the fact that they added that in there. I really appreciate that. Dang, this thing is beautiful. I will just. I wonder if it fits my GMP mag. I'll go ahead and move the box. There. Try. Please fit well. Yes. So that should. I mean, that should mean it feeds really well. But dang, look at this thing. Wow, this is beautiful. It has the Crytek stock on it. Feels pretty comfortable. Nice rubber butt plate. But like I said, I really just wanted a gun that was gonna work. I was like, man, I had some money that I'd saved up. I was like, okay, like fine, let's go. We'll spend money, drop this. I think mean, this was with the magazine deal was like 430. So it's like a big, pretty hefty gun. But with this, I'm actually going to do specific reviews. I think I'm going to do one what, right, when I get it like brand new. And then I think I'm going to do a review at like 50,000 rounds and then 100,000 rounds and like go after that. Cause I really want to test how good a Crytek is. If you want to see that comment below, like, Hey, I want to see really how good this Crytek is. And this one could either be a really great one or a, a really like lower end, like a lemon or something. But hopefully we'll be able to get a lot of rounds out of this. I love the grip. That texture feels amazing. You got your Crytac thing. A uh, little hanger right there with the QR code. I don't know what that's for. Um, you got your sticker on the back. But this feels so good. Look at the, look at the trades. War Sport Industry, LVOA on the other side. Official license. War Sport product. Manufactured in Taiwan by Crytac. Robinson, in Cor or Robinson, North Carolina, USA. That is beautiful. I don't know if anything I, I unbox guys can top this, but this is a beautiful, beautiful gun. My goodness, it has a, even that awesome, super nice dual sling point. Um, it's, it's a really nice grip. I usually upgrade to Magpul MOE grips with anything I have, but this feels really great. I have wider hands, so like I like a bigger grip, and this is pretty thick. The War Sport Upper, I I heard that the War Sport Upper, like it's pretty hard to actually for real ones, it's like or even airsoft ones, it's harder to manufacture ones that aren't just like a generic. And this is not just a generic upper receiver. This has like the War Sport logo in it. I, it does just comes with a normal charging handle, which is I'm guessing what the real one does. But this rail system is sick too. You can actually install the gas block on here as well. All you have to do, I think, is take these uh, screws out. And then through that, you can just pull this rail off, put on the gas block. They don't have it installed, which makes sense Like if you want to kind of have it lighter. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely in love with this thing. I might take this out in the weekend and, and play instead of that AEG. But yeah, guys, all right, so enough uh, gawking over that. Next we have, these are two of the guns. One of these I traded with a friend. Actually, one of these, which one, let's go to this one first. Oops. So one of these I traded with my friend. I traded this for actually that old mystery box. The, uh, this is this one was for the Evike uh, mystery box, one hundred fifty dollars. I won the Scar L Classic Army Scar L. It was the most generic prize, which is which is cool that I actually got something cool. But 
I wanted one of these. This is actually an AKM. I've had at least one, maybe two GMP Masadas before, but this is the AKM version. And at first I was like, he's like, hey man, I have a GMP Masada. And I was like, oh, that's sick. And then I found out it was the AK version. And I was like, ah, a little bit less sick, um, but still pretty cool. And this thing, man, I just, that actually, I like that AK. Like I'm not used to kind of loading AK mags or anything, but like you can snap that in pretty quick. I wonder if it works with all the AK mags or this is I think like the beta, beta project P mags, like AK P mags or whatever, but they're very, very nice. And I think these hold like 170 set or something. And then the stock's nice. Got the Embus back sight, uh, black red dot. I think this, yeah, Valken, just normal. This is the short barreled one. I think I had the longer barreled one, just standard bird cage out here on the end. I like these a lot because in here you can put a nice big battery. You can run a nice lipo. This is of course wired to Tamiya. I'm gonna wire it to Dean's just cause like it's quicker, it gets a little bit snappier trigger response and just easier connectors and the connectors last longer. But this is actually in pretty decent condition. I'm actually, I wasn't sure what condition it would be in, but bolt catch, bolt, bolt lock still functioning. That's sweet, that is a beautiful gun. I am completely okay with, with this. Man, I really like that. That is actually pretty comfortable. I remember my other Masada being pretty comfortable, but this is nice. Um, and that AK, like that actually, that feels pretty natural, kind of just like clip it in there. And it, I think it has a, just a nice big, oh, it's got actually like a metal pin in there. I think that's metal. Metal pin that like locks it in quicker so you can kind of like load. And even if you hit it, it's kind of flared in the mag well, which is pretty cool. All right, as I try and not stack everything too bad on my bed. With the last gun of the day is, the, uh, is a Tipman M4. So some of you will be like, yeah, HPA. Kingdom, don't worry, it's just an empty box. So, uh, some of you will be like, oh yeah, HPA Kingdom, some of you will be, that fits pretty decent in there too. Some of you will be like, oh man, you got another HPA gun? Yeah, I don't know how long I'll keep this, um, because like I said, I just kind of ran, got a little tired of, of running a bunch of tanks and stuff, and it just wasn't like working out exactly how I wanted to. But I've heard really great things about this. One of my friends at college, his name's Charlie, he actually runs one of these. And showed me his, and it's like, man, I love it. Apparently, the hop ups in these are uh, are a little like uh, not so great. You can, I don't know if you can upgrade them. But Tipman makes great paintball stuff, so this actually comes. In, I think that for the whole package, this is really cheap for like the gun, the engine. It's like four hundred dollars or something, which is really cheap because it's a whole gun. If you're gonna buy like a Polar Star, I think it's like six hundred, six fifty to get a full VFC one, and the engine themselves are five hundred, which is still pretty cheap because the engines themselves are five hundred or four fifty. I don't know if they lowered the price point yet, um, but that's pretty cool. That like, I actually kind of like this. This and it's all stock, just a standard quad rail system on it. Uh, Tipman Arms, Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's actually 45 minutes from Grace. I, I go to college at Grace in Warsaw, Indiana. So this is actually 45 minutes away from me. I wonder if I could find the Tipman factory or did ever see that? Because I've been in Fort Wayne a few times. I'm gonna have to go like around the outside to get to my college, but that's pretty cool. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this other big unboxing. Let me know in the comments below if you really like uh, these big unboxings, hopefully you guys do. I mean, it seems to people are like, man, I want you to do more and more and more. Um, so I get a lot of trades and I do a lot of, a lot, a lot of trades um, and buy some stuff like I bought the LVOA. I spent a little bit on that, but I think it's going to be well worth it. Thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Alec Mac 101, and I'll see you guys later.